Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Wednesday night, the Mets shut out the Pittsburgh Pirates 6 to nothing. David Wright became the Mets' all-time hit leader. He had two hits. The go-ahead hit, uh, which put him ahead of Ed Cranepool for the all-time record, was a 60-foot dribbler up the third baseline. No matter, he'll take it. Got a chance to show off my blazing speed. <laughs> um, ten years from now, when I'm telling you know my kids it's going to be a line drive, it's going to be a little different. Um, you know, but uh, I'll take it because, um, you know, a hit's a hit and, um, you know, just uh, really excited I could do it at home. Um, you know, the fans were were, uh, were great to me, you know, the the, the, the applause and, and uh, you know, the post game sticking around and, and um, you know, cheering for me, that, that meant a lot. And uh, like I said, to be able to do it here at home, um, you know, was, was extra special. It's remarkable. It really, I mean, it's, again, it's a testament to, what a really, really good player he is. It's a testament to his work ethic. You know, even last year, you know, he's never satisfied. All he wants to get better. Um, I told him tonight, uh, I had him sign a ball for me. I said, I'm going to keep, I have one from the one you broke, the RBI. Now I got your hit one. I said, I'll be here. I want to get one when you hit your home run. He said, well, on the pace I'm at, it's going to be a while. But I disagree with that. He'll, he'll break that one too soon. Yeah, he definitely will take it. A couple of hits again tonight, a couple of hits in last night's game, and it just uh, you know, it makes you proud when you watch a player like David, uh, the way he conducts himself, uh, when you want your team leaders uh, to be guys that have just been great Mets. And, you know, how many years is he going to be here? No one knows, but he's been a great Met since he's been here. If Seaver's the franchise, he's the example. Well, the Mets had 14 hits tonight. Ruben Tejada had four of them, his fourth four-hit game of the year. But the other story for the Mets tonight was Jeremy Hefner, who pitched one of the worst games in Mets history his last time out against the Phillies. He went seven scoreless innings tonight. Just tried to do my best again, and, and it worked out. Tried to pick up the bullpen. They picked me up last time. I tried to pick them up tonight. I wish I could have thrown a complete game, but, you know, seven strong is pretty good. Huge for, my, for Jeremy. I, you know, everybody in this room was uh, – that was there his last start, you know, saw his emotions and saw that he was upset. And, uh, you know, he had something to prove tonight that he can pitch here. And I, I believe he, he showed everybody that he belongs here. And I was very, very happy for him. I couldn't have been happy for anybody. He certainly uh, went out and did what we needed to have done. And that's give us quality innings because our bullpen was – on fumes tonight. Well, it was really fun watching Hefner pitch tonight. He had it all working. Uh, he had the best changeup I've seen him have since he's been in a Mets uniform, and that really got him through the first few innings. And then he spotted his fastball, good curveball. It was just great. And then passed the game on to Jerry Reese Familia, who uh, I just enjoy watching him pitch. He's got wipeout stuff. He's got a chance to really be, a, uh, I think, a star in this league and maybe uh, be one of the first Mets in some time to be groomed as a closer for this team. I think he knows he's got a great arm. I think he knows he's got good stuff. But, you know, he had an up-and-down season. I mean, there's some games he was very good and some games he had a tough time. And so uh, he, he knows one thing. He's got he, he's to learn. Um, but we see the stuff. You guys see the stuff. It's lights-out stuff. I mean, it's 96, 97-mile-an-hour sinker. Kevin Brown's the only guy I've ever seen have that kind of that kind of stuff. And we, if we can get him for a feel for a secondary pitch, that's why I keep saying if if, if he comes up with a secondary pitch that he can throw over, or that he can get him to chase, I mean, there's no telling how good this guy can be. Well, the Mets are now five and four on this final home stand of the year. One more home game coming up. That's Thursday afternoon as Ari Dickey tries for his 20th victory of the season. Our coverage begins at 12:30 with Pepsi Max pregame live on SNY Thursday afternoon. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.